What if your car never stopped? Not for gas, not for charging, not even for maintenance the way you know it today. Imagine highways filled with vehicles that power themselves, cars that generate their own energy, silently gliding across America's roads without ever needing a station. Now here's the shocking twist. It's not China leading this charge. For years, the world believed China was unbeatable in the electric vehicle race. But in a move no one expected, the United States has made a leap so bold it could rewrite the future of transportation and global power itself. And this isn't some distant dream. It's arriving much sooner than anyone thought. In the next few minutes, you'll discover how U.S. scientists and innovators have pulled ahead of China in creating self-powered cars. You'll see what the technology actually is, how it works, and what it means for your life, your wallet, and even your freedom. But beware. The same breakthrough that promises to free us from gas pumps and charging stations also carries risks that could reshape entire economies, disrupt industries, and spark geopolitical battles. Stay with me until the very end, because what you're about to learn is more than just the future of cars. It's the future of nations. For decades, the race to dominate electric vehicles has been a battle of giants. On one side, the United States, home of Tesla and the birthplace of Silicon Valley innovation. On the other side, China, the manufacturing powerhouse, pouring billions into EV infrastructure and exporting more electric cars than any country on Earth. Experts and analysts almost unanimously predicted that China would claim victory. After all, it wasn't just making EVs cheaper. It was building entire cities around them, with charging stations on every corner and massive government support. Meanwhile, American drivers were stuck with charging anxiety. Long waits, broken charging ports, and a lack of infrastructure made many question whether EVs were truly practical. But then something unexpected happened. Quietly, behind the scenes, American startups, universities, and labs began working on a breakthrough, technology that didn't just improve EVs, but redefined them entirely. Instead of cars that depend on external charging stations, imagine cars that sustain themselves. Vehicles that use new forms of solid-state batteries, solar integration, energy recapture, and wireless power transfer systems embedded into roads. This isn't science fiction anymore. Real prototypes are on the road, backed by billions in U.S. investment, and they're set to roll out sooner than China can respond. The implications? If America wins this technological edge, it won't just disrupt the auto industry. It will alter the balance of global trade, energy consumption, and even political influence. Because whoever controls the future of energy-powered mobility controls far more than just cars. So what exactly makes these cars self-powered? At the core are solid-state batteries, a revolutionary step beyond lithium-ion. Unlike traditional batteries that degrade over time, solid-state designs are safer, store more energy in less space, and last significantly longer. But here's the kicker. They can recharge themselves in ways we've never seen before. Picture a vehicle roof and hood made of ultra-thin, flexible solar panels, constantly harvesting energy as you drive. Now add kinetic energy recapture, where every movement, every brake, even the vibration of the wheels on asphalt feeds electricity back into the system. Suddenly your car becomes a rolling power plant, and it doesn't stop there. Across parts of America, experimental highways are being fitted with wireless charging coils, allowing EVs to draw energy as they drive. This isn't theory. It's being tested right now in states like Michigan and Indiana. A car traveling on these roads could, in effect, drive indefinitely, combine all these systems together, and you get something extraordinary. A car that rarely, if ever, needs to stop for energy. For the everyday driver, this means no more range anxiety. No more waiting hours at a charger. No more worrying about power outages disrupting your travel. Instead, you have a car that takes care of itself, silently feeding on the environment around it. It's a level of freedom no gas-powered or traditional EV can provide. But how did the U.S. leap ahead? And why hasn't China, with all its resources, already achieved this? The answer lies in where innovation happens fastest. Not in massive factories, but in bold, experimental labs and small startups that aren't afraid to take risks. 
and America has those in abundance. While China has dominated manufacturing, the U.S. has leaned on something else. Disruptive innovation. American companies like Aptera, Tesla, and several stealth startups have been quietly experimenting with self-sustaining EV models. Aptera, for instance, already offers a solar EV that can add dozens of miles per day just from sunlight. Imagine scaling that across millions of vehicles. Then there's government backing. Programs from the Department of Energy, coupled with billions in private sector investment, have created fertile ground for breakthroughs. The U.S. military has also poured funding into energy-independent vehicles, pushing technology forward at an accelerated pace. Meanwhile, China, for all its industrial might, has focused heavily on scaling existing lithium-ion technology and building infrastructure for it. That's an advantage in the short term, but it means they're less nimble when a true disruption arrives. So while the world expected China to win the EV war, the U.S. may have just blindsided them with a move straight out of Silicon Valley's playbook. Don't compete on the same field. Change the game. If you're fascinated by how these breakthroughs could reshape the future, make sure you subscribe now. We've only scratched the surface, and what's coming next will blow your mind. Now. Let's imagine life once these vehicles become mainstream. You leave your home, step into your car, and drive across the country without ever planning a charging stop. The car collects energy from the sun, the road, and its own motion. Your fuel bill? Zero. Your maintenance costs? A fraction of what you once paid. For families, that means thousands of dollars saved every year. For businesses, delivery fleets and trucking companies suddenly gain massive efficiency. For cities, it means cleaner air, quieter roads, and less dependence on sprawling charging networks. The environmental impact is equally massive. True zero-emission cars, vehicles that not only avoid fossil fuels but also consume minimal external. Energy could cut carbon footprints at an unprecedented rate. But it doesn't stop at convenience and the environment. Consider global economics. Oil demand would plummet. Countries that depend on fossil fuel exports could face economic collapse. Entire industries tied to fueling stations, refineries, and energy transport would have to adapt or vanish. In short, the rise of self-powered EVs doesn't just change driving. It changes everything. But as with every revolution, there's a darker side. Who controls the minerals needed for advanced batteries? Many of them, like cobalt and lithium alternatives, are still concentrated in regions prone to conflict. This raises the risk of new resource wars. Then there's cybersecurity. A car that's constantly connected, self-powered, and digitally managed becomes a potential target for hacking. Imagine someone remotely disabling entire fleets of vehicles, or worse, taking control of them. And don't forget the economic shockwaves. Millions of jobs in oil, gas, and even traditional EV charging networks could vanish. That means political unrest, resistance from powerful industries, and a potentially painful transition. So while self-powered EVs sound like liberation, they may also unleash challenges society isn't fully prepared for. Make no mistake, this isn't just about cars. It's about power. If the U.S. truly brings self-sustaining EVs to market before China, it seizes not just a technological lead, but a geopolitical weapon. Energy independence is one of the strongest levers any nation can hold. China knows this. That's why it's scrambling to double down on innovation, racing to avoid being left behind. The EV battle is no longer about who makes the most cars. It's about who defines the future of mobility itself. And for the first time in years, the U.S. has the upper hand. So here we are, on the brink of a transportation revolution. Self-powered cars are no longer science fiction. They are real. They are here. And they are rolling out in America before China can claim the crown. It's a shockwave the world didn't see coming. One that could redefine not only how we drive, but how we live, how economies function, and how nations compete. This is just the beginning. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on every breakthrough shaping the future, hit subscribe now because the next wave of innovation is coming fast and you don't want to be left behind. And let me ask you this. Would you trust a car that never needs charging? Or does that level of technology make you uneasy? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading everyone. The future is arriving. The only question is, are we ready for it?